Good evening, good morning, wherever in the world you are. Thank you for coming to the show and welcome to the final night, the second night of the Piano League Piano Star International uh, Piano Competition. Co-hosting with me today will be Sherry Kim, my friend again, just like yesterday. Hi everyone. Last night, we had a real pleasure listening to our 20 amateur grand finalists. And tonight, we will be listening to the remaining 12 grand finalists of the professional division from uh, four from each age category. That's right. And before we dive into the competition, we would like to introduce our three esteemed judges who are waiting for us in our virtual backstage right now. These are different judges from last night. Even though the performances have been recorded, pre-recorded, our judges tonight will still be presenting uh, their comments in real time and watching in real time. Yes. So I will introduce our first judge tonight. His name is Jayan Sun. Um, he has been awarded prizes at many of the major international piano competitions, including third prize at the Leeds International Piano Competition, second prize at the Dublin International Piano Competition, fourth prize and the audience prize at the Cleveland International Competition, first prize at the inaugural CCC Toronto International Piano Competition. As the Iva D. Hyatt visiting artist in piano at Smith College, he presented Beethoven's complete piano sonatas in chronological order in the 2018-2019 season. And in the last season, he presented the Project Schubertiad in a series of eight recitals at Smith College, exploring Schubert's major piano, chamber, and vocal works. Please welcome Jayan Sun. Hello, everyone. It's my great pleasure to be here. Thank you. Thank you for coming, Jayan. All right, our next um, judge will be Lisa Yu. Lisa is on the piano faculty of uh, John J. Kelly School of Music at Mon Montclair State University. In addition to producing the Lives of the Piano series at Manhattan School of Music, which is now in its, 12th, uh, in its 20th season. Lisa teaches graduate piano literature, keyboard skills, historical recordings of great pianists in the 32 Beethoven Sonatas and Manhattan School of Music, where she is also Associate Dean of Assessment and Academic Programs. She is a recipient of the school's 2018 President's Medal for Distinguished Service. So let's please uh, welcome Lisa. Hello, it's such a pleasure to be here tonight. And Thank finally, you. our last judge for the evening is Antonio Pompabaldi. He is on the piano faculty of the Cleveland Institute of Music. His students have been prize winners in important competitions such as the Marguerite Long, Hilton Head, Yi Sang Yun, and Gina Bakar. He is regularly invited to teach master classes in countless universities, music schools, and festivals in the US and all over the world. In 2015, Mr. Pompobaldi founded the Todi International Music Masters Festival, of which he is also artistic director and faculty member. He rose to international fame after winning the 1999 Cleveland International Piano Competition and also the silver medal at the 2001 Van Cliburn International Piano Competition, among many other awards. Please welcome Antonio Pompobaldi. Hello, hello everyone. It is a great honor to join my esteemed colleagues and to be with you tonight, and I tonight for me at least, and I look forward to listening to all the talented contestants. Great, thank you. Thank you so much, three judges, for uh, joining us tonight. So before we start, uh, just like yesterday, I'd just like to explain the rules uh, to our audience a little bit in case uh, they are watching for the first time. So here we go. So first, um, each judge will cast a vote for first to fourth place for each group. So there are four people uh, in each group, and that's why the grand finals is also called the winner showcase because everyone will be getting a prize. So one to four. And then each place um, vote will be worth a certain point. So as you can see, first place is equal to 10 points, uh, second place is equal to nine points and so forth. When there is a tie breaker, oh, oh I jumped ahead of myself here. So a uh, contestant with the highest total points will win the group, obviously. And when there is a tie breaker, when, if it's a two-way tiebreaker, then the contestant that is voted higher um, from two of the three judges wins. Now, in the very rare instance, uh, which obviously didn't happen yesterday and we don't 
uh, anticipated happening today. But if there are there is a three way tiebreaker where um, each judge is preferring a different person, so that means three different people are is preferred by three different judges, then Sherry and I will be deciding the tiebreaker. So we, as the directors of the competition, have listened to all the pre-recorded videos and have given our own ranking. So in the very rare instance that this happens, our vote will decide the winners. Now, for um, sake of full transparency, all votes from all judges will be released to the public after the competition. So together with yesterday's results, we will be uh, releasing all of the votes from the judges. All right, so with that said, guys, are you ready for uh, the first contestant tonight? Most definitely. Awesome, Absolutely. all right. So here we go. First up is professional group one, which is ages 12 and under. And our first contestant is Toby Tan Kai Rong, who is going to be playing The Lark by Glinka and Balakiriev. Please welcome Toby.
All right, that's it for Toby. Next up, we have Qing Yue Yang from uh, mainland China, and she will be playing the Sweet Dreams, Opus Thirty Nine, Number Twenty One by Tchaikovsky. Let's welcome Qing Yue Yang, Yang Qing Yue. Wonderful. And now we are going on to our third contestant. His name is Jun Yuan, Jeremy Liu, playing Grand Vals Berlanti uh, by Friedrich Chopin. Please welcome Jeremy. Sorry, did you guys hear that uh, technical difficulty? Okay, let's try let's try that again. All right, sorry about that. All right, here is uh, Jeremy again. Hold on. My apologies. This uh, didn't happen yesterday. So let's investigate. All right. One more time. All right, so it looks like uh, the video is having some issues. So we will actually, um, let's take a short break uh, while, I, while I fix this. All right, so let's take a, a short break.
sorry uh, about the muted mic. So it seems like uh, something is wrong with the video. So we will actually move on to the next person while uh, we reformat the video and then uh, show it again later. So we will move on to the next person. Uh, Sherry, do you want to introduce? Sure. So our next performer, um, our fourth contestant, and later on we'll come back to Jeremy. Our fourth contestant is Kenneth Chen, and he will be playing Nomen Rain by Franz Liszt. Please welcome Kenneth. All right, and that was Kenneth. So, um, so while we are still working on Jeremy's video, we will have to move on to the next group, and then we will come back uh, to Jeremy's video uh, later. So, the next person to perform will be Junhao Wang from mainland China, and uh, he will be playing Sonata uh, Number no. Six in A Major by Prokofiev, the fourth movement. So let's welcome Jun Hao Wang.
Awesome. And now our second contestant of group two will be playing, and that is Melody Shu. She will be playing Beethoven's first movement of Piano Sonata in G major, Opus 31, number one. Please welcome Melody.
Wonderful. And now our third contestant is Corey Wu, and he will be playing for us Liszt's Transcendental Etude Number Four, What's Up? Please welcome Corey.
All right. And the final contestant of professional group two will be Zhi Hao Zhou, Zhou Zhi Hao from China. And he will be playing Introduction and Variation on a German Air by Frederick Chopin. Thank you. 
Wonderful performances for our group two contestants. So now we are going to actually invite one of our judges to give a little bit of um, their thoughts on what they uh, thought about the performers today. And actually we have um, someone who uh, commented on YouTube that posed a very interesting question about how do you rank and judge these virtuosic performers? They're, they're also wonderful and fabulous. So how, what do you look for? So I would like to bring uh, Lisa Yui to, you know, give a little bit of uh, her thoughts on, on that. Uh, sure, you're putting me in a very tough spot. <laughs> well, first of all, I'd, I'd like to say what a delight it is to be able to hear such passionate high-level performance during this uh, very difficult year. Um, I think all of my esteemed uh, uh, colleagues know full well how difficult it is to play a single piece, uh, just, just sit there and to, to play one piece immediately and to be on immediately. And I think these four pianists have done a phenomenal job in that sense. Um, it's, we heard uh, uh, two kind of timeless barn burners through the, uh, the Prokofiev and the list. Uh, we heard a very un, um, rarely performed uh, virtuosic uh, Chopin work, as well as a kind of a less uh, performed work by Beethoven. And with such a variety of repertoire performed by such different and um, such talented pianists, it seems almost absurd to have to uh, rank these pianists one, two, three, four, um, such as life and competitions though. But I really hope um, everyone will understand and believe that um, this has been a wonderful delight for me and I'm sure to all of my colleagues. And I hope that everyone is very pleased with themselves as, uh, as pleased as I have been uh, uh, tonight. And I am very much looking forward to the remaining contestants. Thank you so much, Lisa, for your you know, wonderful comments about these co contestants. I'm sure they are very happy to hear your words tonight. So it looks like we are ready to bring back our group one contestant, Jeremy, uh, back to the stage and wrap up group one session. So without further ado, Please welcome Jeremy with Chopin's Grand Valse Brillante Opus 18. Thank you. 
All right. First of all, I'm very glad that uh, the video finally worked uh, and uh, I, I totally enjoyed it. But I'd like to ask our, uh, one of our judges, uh, Jia Yan Sun, for his opinion on uh, the four performances uh, in group one. Jia Yan. Thank you, Brian. First of all, I would like to congratulate all four contestants uh, 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 in group one. As we know, uh, they, uh, they have been selected after uh, a very tough round of uh, 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 selection a month ago and uh, from rising from a dozens and dozens of contestants. And to be able to present themselves on this stage, it's already a tremendous achievement. So I would like to congratulate all of them for their wonderful performances uh, tonight. So without, uh, in a sense, offering more uh, uh, my uh, compliments, I would like to offer one uh, constructive criticism that might benefit uh, some of uh, our young pianists here. Um, so my topic uh, would be that uh, in their future studies, uh, perhaps they could uh, pay attention more uh, to the differentiation of sonorities in their playing. Uh, to put it more simply, it's, uh, for example, when we have accompaniment and a, a melody, uh, we could have much better differentiation um, uh, between the ratio and uh, the dynamic uh, qualities of uh, these elements. Um, so while it sounds like an age old uh, axiom that, oh, we have to play melody louder than complement, but it's much more complicated than that, since uh, with a much better differentiation in the sonorities, us as pianists have better um, ability to mold with, to manipulate the sonorities, the soundscape of what we create from the piano. So instead of hearing notes, we start to hear music rising behind the notes. So that comes back to the question that Sherry brought up and uh, answered uh, uh, in such an insightful way by our uh, colleague, Lisa, that when we talk about virtuosity, it's not only about speed and uh, uh, loudness in the playing, rather it's about these more subtle matters in the artistic delivery of these uh, wonderful works that we are hearing tonight. And uh, uh, I think um, many our contestants have achieved tremendously uh, in what they do. And uh, again, it's a great pleasure to hear all of them. Thank you so much, Ian. It's always refreshing to hear not just compliments, but also um, constructive criticism, criticisms, as you called it. And I'm sure uh, the contestants, as well as our audience, uh, benefit from those as well. With that said, we will move on to our third group, third and final group of tonight, the 16th to 18th group, uh, professional three. And the winner of this group will walk away with $1,000 in cash. The first performer to go uh, today is Lin Ying, Ying Lin, uh, 17 from China. And uh, she will be playing Hungarian Rhapsody number 12 in C sharp minor by list. Let's welcome Yin Ling.
Our second contestant in group three is Natalie Zing playing Waltz from the opera Faust by Franz Liszt. Please welcome Natalie.
Our third contestant is Angela Lee playing Desperate Measures Opus 48 by Robert Muczynski. Please welcome Angela.
And that brings us to our final contestant for the evening. That is Regina Lin. And she will be playing for us Haydn's Piano Sonata in B minor. Please welcome Regina.
And that's a wrap for tonight. After listening to all these wonderful uh, pianists, I'd just like to invite our uh, last judge, Antonio Pompobaldi, for his opinion on uh, the third group, professional group three that he just heard. So Antonio, what are your thoughts? Well, thank you very much, Brian. First of all, I wanna renew the sense of pleasure that I got from listening to all these wonderful contestants. They're all so accomplished. And this specific category really brought a dilemma to me. Uh, how tough it is when you have one piece only to rank very good contestants with such different styles. They chose uh, pieces that are all belonging to different styles and different composers. So it's really hard to to really rank them um but rank we have to and so we will um aside from the fact that in each group all the contestants are deserving of recognition because each had something special to say regardless of what the final ranking will be each showed the most important ingredient which is the individuality they all have it they all have personality along with the good technical skills they already possess and also are continuing to develop so their journey to becoming professional performers, I think, is off to an excellent start. Um, on the side of maybe offering a little bit of advice, I would just remind um, all the contestants that the piano is the most polyphonic of instruments. And so we do need to think and act a little bit more like a conductor would. Your orchestra is your 10 fingers. Just like in a great orchestra, you have to layer the instruments very carefully as spotlighting more those instruments that you feel are leading in that particular moment. So give more room to the more important elements in voice leading, but also craft carefully everything else while keeping it softer and maintaining transparency. Um, also, the piano is essentially by its nature a percussive instrument. Most of the music that we play needs legato, imitating, for example, the human voice, or at times string instruments with their bowings uh, or wind instruments. So you have to search for and listen when you practice, really listen for a sound that does not make you hear the hammers striking the strings. And that truly connects the sounds in a long line. It sounds easy, but I think it's the most difficult task for us. So that being said, uh, some of our contestants were actually doing that, but could do more. And some still need to uh, get into that a little bit more. Uh, so that would be my advice. But overall, I have to congratulate all of them for such a great performance. Thank you so much for your comment. And I'm sure our audience learned a lot. And I think that's part of uh, a great thing about our competition. It's not just getting prizes and not getting prizes. It's also learning. Uh, it's a learning experience. Now uh, it's time for us to compile the results. And while we do wait for the results, uh, we will be presenting to you guys a uh, spotlight video that we have prepared just like yesterday. If you were watching yesterday, uh, we asked each contestant to prepare a 75 second video to showcase whatever they love or whatever is, is unique about them. Could be a pet, could be a book, could be a skill that they have, a hobby that they have. So anything that they like to showcase. So while we are working on the results, uh, the audience will get to enjoy this. So here we go. Hi, I'm Toby and I'm from Singapore. I like to cook and I also like to do Rubik's Cube. So I'm gonna try to do it in under 75 seconds. Mainly I've been working on speed and my personal goal is under one minute. So I'm working towards that.
not working on the two layers. Almost done, last one. Now more time this last one. This last layer. This one is to be here. This one and this one is to this one. And now I'm going to finish up with the yellow. And almost done just last one. Just finish this. And that's finished. 大家好,我是来自中国深圳的杨庆月。很高兴在这一次 Piano Star 钢琴比赛中和大家见面。我今天要给大家推荐一本非常好看的书，它获得了艾伦比青少年推理小说奖。一座尘封十年的阁楼里，到底隐藏着什么秘密？十年前那天夜里，到底发生了什么？有没有小伙伴和我一样喜欢看推理书呢 ？Hi everyone, I'm Jeremy Liu. 我的中文名字叫刘俊元。I'm going to tell you something about me. I am nine years old. I started playing piano when I was four. I am now studying with Mrs. Sue and Mids. I also participated in the 88 Keys to Cure, which is a not-for-profit organization dedicated to enhancing the lives of others through music. My favorite sport is skiing and swimming. I'm an active swimmer in a local swimming team. I also like running. I can even run five kilometers without a break. I'm a good dog trainer. I train my dog to jump through a hula hoop. Thank you. 什么事情都要你告诉自己，必须要坚持下去，你才能坚持到最后。
today, I think about the Chinese songs use English. Thank you. dogs but I was never really able to get one until I got Mocha and even though <clears throat> Mocha isn't a very special dog like she can't do any tricks or anything like that um, I, she still really means a lot to me because she's always there for me especially during hard times and um, she's also always by my side especially when I'm doing homework or when I'm practicing the piano and um, yeah, I'm really grateful to have such a wonderful little dog as our part of the family. And yeah, thank you. Bye. Thank you for watching my performance today on Piano League. And besides playing the piano, I enjoy creating digital art on my iPad Pro. Here are some of my drawings, which are mostly a cartoon style inspired by Japanese anime. But besides my cartoony style, I also like to draw realistic drawings of food. Here are some examples, an egg and a strawberry. watching my talent video. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye! All right, let's bring everyone back. I hope everyone enjoyed that little video that everyone uh, that we put together, but of course uh, that everyone contributed. Uh, and I personally really enjoyed uh, seeing the other side of them. 
uh, on in the videos. So <laughs> the moment everyone has been waiting for. Uh, but before that, Sherry uh, and sorry. So before that, Sherry would uh, like to say some few words. Yes, for sure. Yeah. I know that you guys are all waiting for the results of the Piano Star International Competition. But yes, before we do that, uh, we have a few words to say. At first, uh, we want to uh, first thank our three judges tonight for listening to each performance and bringing in their wisdom and experience to the table. Uh, it really means a lot to us that they would be uh, here spending their evening uh, watching a bunch of comp uh, competitors from all around the world. Uh, we also want to thank everyone else behind the scenes of every performer, that is the parents and guardians, and of course, the piano teachers for pouring in their love and dedication to nurture each student. These yeah. uh, wonderful young musicians, um, they really wouldn't be where they are today without them. Yes, definitely a big thank you to everyone that Sherry has just mentioned. Speaking of behind the scenes, I'd just like to also thank uh, my team, uh, including, you know, behind the scene people, that's uh, Meng Yao Ye and Annalie Chang, who Meng Yao is in charge of uh, the technology department and Annalie is in charge of the uh, editorial department. So I just like to really give them a shout out and, and uh, without them, without our team, um, not, none of this would have happened. So thank yeah. you. We so appreciate uh, the level of dedication that the teachers pour into each of the students' lives. So we created a special Piano League Teacher of the Year Award that is only awarded to one teacher whose students won the most number of first prizes from the preliminary and final rounds. However, for this year, we have a very special case. Uh, we have two Teacher of the Year Awards, and that is because these two teachers actually co-teach every single student that has won first prize. And together, their piano studio has collected a total of 15 first prizes from their students. Okay, so now it is time to announce the names of our two teachers. So Brian, you can show us the video now. Congratulations, Dr. Ord and Dr. Chris. This is, uh, we're, we're so happy to have you as our teachers of the year. And we are going to actually have um, an exclusive interview with them later on and maybe get to know a little bit of their secrets on teaching. So anyways, back to our grand finalists. I know you must all be eager to hear the news, uh, but first of all, let me explain to you briefly what is at stake here. Tonight, those who win gold, silver, or bronze medals will be receiving cash prizes and trophies, which will be delivered uh, to them at a future date. Naturally, these cash amounts are greater than what was presented in the amateur division yesterday. Also, these winners from all age groups in the professional division will receive either a partial or full scholarship to attend the Montecito International Music Festival, which is an annual three week long summer music festival in California. Lastly, only the winners in group three will receive a four-year scholarship to attend East Tennessee State University as an undergraduate freshman if they choose to attend there and complete the admission process. What an incredible award package these young winners will be receiving very shortly. Okay, so here goes. Time to announce the winners. So this is how it's gonna work. The first prize winners, uh, oh, actually, you know what? Brian, we're having yes. all the winners re uh, get a special video, right? Just, uh, just the first prize, just like, uh, just like yesterday. Got it, got it. So, yes. first prize winners will receive this really cool, dazzling, special video, and then uh, I will announce the rest. Okay, so the first prize for professional group one goes to. Big congratulations to Toby for being our gold medalist of group one. And now to announce the other winners, our silver medal goes to Kenneth Chen. 
our bronze medal goes to Junyun Jeremy Liu. And finally, our honorable mention goes to Qingyue Yang. Congratulations to everyone in group one. Congratulations. Let's just uh, give them a round of applause. And everyone, feel free to comment applauses on in the comment section, in the chat section. All right. All right. Okay, so now we will go on to announce the winners of group two, ages 13 to 15. So our gold medal will go to Congratulations to Corey Wu for being our gold medalist. And now to announce the rest, our silver medal goes to Junhao Wang. Our bronze medal goes to Zhihao Zhou. And finally, our honorable mention goes to Melody Xu. Congratulations to everyone in group two. Congratulations. Now on to our final round. So here we go. Our gold medal of group three, ages 16 to 18, goes to Big congratulations to Angela Lee for being our gold medalist. And to announce the other winners, our silver medal goes to Natalie Zhang. Our bronze medal goes to Regina Lin. And our honorable mention goes to Ying Lin. Congratulations to everyone in group three and also to all of our grand finalists for both amateur and professional divisions. professional division um, from wherever you're watching this tonight uh, let's just give a final round of a big final round of applause for these 12 all 12 amazing talented pianists for their wonderful achievements Woo! and congratulations, thank you. congratulations to all and congratulations thank you, thank to you. the organizers thank you so thank much you, thank you. Thank you. And definitely we hope to see everyone next year as we hope to continue um, this competition after uh, the pandemic is hopefully over by this time next year. So let's all pray on that. With that said, uh, as we always say in Piano League, happy practicing uh, and have a wonderful evening, night, and the rest of the day wherever you are. Goodbye. Thank you, everybody. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.